Hello there, it's Fortnite Coaches here. I'm going to be talking about Hurricane. It's fun spot in Atlanta, in Atlanta, Georgia. This ride is very, very strange, I have to say. It's not as unique, I gotta say. It's a ENF Myler. It's, it's painful, it's very, very painful, but gives it a lot of airtime, which is very bizarre in my opinion. And overall, this, this ride, it, I, I'll. I have mixed opinions on it, but yeah, let's go and talk about the ride generally real, real quick. It has a height of 38 feet and it has a max speed of 35 miles per hour and has been operating here since 2007. It was formerly Wildcat at Wild Island, which uh, or Screaming Eagle also, which was formerly called before Fun Spot bought the park. But yeah, the ride also has a decent pace scheme when, you know, the parts that aren't rusted, but you know. Yeah, the ride looks okay. It looks, like, janky, which it is. Anyways, let's talk about our, the way out of this ride now. So you, when you get out of the, um, West Hill, you go and do two turns, which get you 180 degrees over janky. Then you get some decent airtime on the first drop. Up into the turnaround gives great airtime somehow. And then it's super janky through that. That's so uncom very uncomfortable. And then the more airtime, more uncomfortable. Then this, these two turns here, it's the most uncomfortable thing that I've ever experienced. But then more great airtime. Then more airtime. Then horrible transitions that don't make, make you not want to ride the ride. Then that airtime in the middle. Most painful thing ever exists. And then you go back up and then more horribly uncomfortable stuff. So yeah, overall this ride... Yeah, either I said horrible when describing it, or I said great. Either or. Because this ride has a lot of great moments. Also, you know the airtime I mentioned? The strongest airtime I think I've ever experienced. I mean, it's like Skyrush is considered the highest G-Force. And that doesn't, and the airtime doesn't hurt. This, the airtime, literally, I, after that, I walked all the way over to, to um, Air E-Force when I was across the park. And it was still hurting after riding Air Force 3 on like three different times. It was still hurting from how strong the airtime is. Would I ride this ride again? If I go back to Funbot at Atlanta, sure. But I for sure wasn't going to go on it two times in a row. It, it was, to say the least, slightly uncomfortable. And I think that's a very big understatement. Also to mention the chain lift is incredibly slow for some reason. Also, I forgot to mention the go um, the go kart um, track right next to it. It's kind of a piece of junk, but you know, it, just like this ride, really. Actually, everything in front of the park is kind of mediocre. But anyways, it, not, not talking about all fun about Atlanta in general. This ride is very janky, very bad at moments, horrible. Like one of the worst tokens I've ever ridden at points, but at the same time has some great moments too. Even even that they aren't they don't outweigh the good or they even that the good moments don't outweigh the bad. And I think the bad is just too bad for this ride to be ranked any hot any way or near the top. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video and remember to comment, like, subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video or and hope you guys have a great day. Peace.